Well, these days seems nearly impossible to buy a house, let alone just find one in your price range. News Channel 9's Kellyanne Marshall looks at the market and explains why the inventory is so low. Mark Bell has been in the industry for six years. His clients, a couple who live in Syracuse, says, we have spent the better part of the past two years searching for a home. While our search started out looking for the perfect home, we have transitioned into simply looking for a home that meets all of our basic expectations. They've actually had to increase their minimum budget because houses are being sold for more. If we're comparing January 2022 to January of this year, um, the number of listings hitting the market in the, that price range, say around 82 to $145,000, is down 30%. But with the stats, what we're seeing is the buyer pool hasn't changed. Houses like this one selling at $120,000 are only on the market for days. For this one, showing started on Friday. They had 40 showings, seven offers, and it's already under contract. If it's a wonderful property, then it's a feeding frenzy. Or people are putting up questionable properties thinking, well, I can get a lot more money than I ever could before for this clunker. Why is inventory so low? People aren't moving quite as much. People aren't looking to sell quite as much. Um, for the same reasons that we're dealing with this issue, what would happen is someone would buy a home in this price range, that 100, 150, they'd live there for about six to eight years statistically, and then they would look to move on. Patiently waiting for that perfect place to call home. In Cicero, Callahan Marshall, okay. News Channel 9. And Bell says if you are looking to buy in a year or two, prepare now.